Got to be in haul mode because I'm hauling a load of lumber. I'm telling you what, checking the UAV forecast and air data apps, it can't get any better than it is today to fly a drone. Why did I come down this way? This isn't the spot that I wanted to go to. Looks like a rubber chicken. All right, guys, we're here. You recognize the culvert in the back? If you guys remember the last time that we were here, we were here with the Hover Air drone. So Christy and I have, have come up with the name of Javier for this drone. Anyway, let's get on to business. Go to bed, Javier. <laughs> let's talk, oh, that hurts. All right, well, let's talk about what today's video is about. We got a comment the other day from G. Rossi 46. G. Rossi said, you have a lovely voice, buddy. Thanks for reminding me of the Carpet Man song. If you don't remember what the Carpet Man song is, I'll insert it here. At the Carpet Man, at the Carpet Man. I'm sorry, guys, I had to do it. <laughs> let's move on. With the Mini 4 Pro, you can't adjust the gimbal or controls when Return to Home is activated. You guys have that problem? I don't remember having that issue, but I don't remember really doing much with the drone when I, on the Return to Home flights lately. I've just hit Return to Home and let them fly home. So this is going to affect Dwight, possibly, our Mini 4 Pro. But I want to see if the Mini 2s are still able to do it as well. So we're going to try... We're going to start at least with Jack with the 1.4.8 fly at version, and then we're going to fly Dwight. And if we do have time today, we're going to fly Rose and check her out and make sure that she's on the 1.12.8 fly at version like Dwight is. And we'll see if she has the abilities or not abilities to do it anymore. So let's get started. Let me get Jack out of the box here. And we'll get this test started. This is the load of wood I was telling you all about. Ah, there's the culvert. I wonder if we could fly under that culvert. What do you guys think? I bet Jack could do it. Dwight would probably say no. His obstacle avoidance would shut him down. We got Jack all set up and ready to go. I'm going to get him on the back of the truck. He's got... I think zero satellites right now, so let's get him some satellites. All right, buddy, do us proud. Okay, so since we're waiting on him to get his satellites, let me see how many he's got. He's got zero. Let's hit the three dots. I'll go over to the About tab and show you we're using Jack the Drone. His firmware, his aircraft firmware is 1.03.0000. This is some old firmware. And then his fly app version is 1.4.8. Again, that's some old fly app version. <laughs> I'm surprised that we've been able to keep the 1.4.8 fly app on this phone as long as we have without something screwing up. We've and been home fortunate. Point been updated, home point's been updated. Thanks, Martha. Probably should have shut up so she could talk. Come on, Martha, say it again. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, so we've got 10 satellites, uh, moderate signal. What I want to do is I just want to go out a couple, maybe 1,500 feet or so. Now, we're in an area that we do have kind of a signal issue. There's some trees here that, some, that sometimes will cause some issues. But I want to go out with Jack, and I want to see on the return home flight if I'm able to control his up and down, his yaw, and his camera. And then I want to try that one thing where I speed him up uh, while he's returning home. So let's go ahead and get him started up. We'll get him acclimated. Take off. Her voice is so Home cool. Point has been updated. Please check it on the map. You go, Martha. All right, left and right. He's responding to the controls. Up and down. Yep, there we go. And right now the, camp, the gimbal is working. We're in normal mode. And let's get up about, say, 150 feet. Then we'll just fly straight out and uh, see what he does. All right, let's hit return to home. He's raising up to his 163 feet, I think I have him set at here. Let me lower the gimbal. I still got control of the gimbal. So he is returning home. I've got control of the gimbal with Jack. Can I change his yaw? Yeah, I can change his yaw. Can I change his speed? I'm pushing up on the, uh, the right stick. And yep, his speed is increasing. Can I raise him up? I can raise him up. And let me see if I can lower him down. All right, and I can even lower him down. So I've got perfect control with Jack here on the return to home flight. There's no, there's no, um, I guess, limitations on his controls here. So that's good. Well, let's get him landed, and we'll test, uh, we'll test out Dwight. All right, bud, good job. You missed your landing pad. <laughs> All right, I got Dwight out of the box. And I'm gonna get the controller all set up. See, I read the comments. There's something about having this cover on here that makes me forget to put these antennas out a lot of the time. So I read the comments though. <laughs> all right, let me get this uh, let me get this up and going. He has zero satellites. Let me get him out on the back of the truck so he can get his satellites. Do us proud like Jack did, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna hit the three dots up here and show you what we're using. Go to the About tab. We're using Dwight, our Mini 4 Pro. The fly app version is 1.12.8. And his firmware version is 1.00.0300. Okay, the home point's been updated. We've got 16 satellites. 
I really think that's enough to get started. Let me get uh, Dwight up in the air here. Let me pinch the sticks together and get the message of normal mode. Pinch the sticks again. Get him up in the air 21 feet or 22 feet. He's doing that turn to the left again. What is the deal with that? Anyway, it looks like he's straightened out now. Let me get him up about 100 feet. 150 feet, I think, is what I was with, with Jack. All right, we'll just go out straight 150 or 1,200 feet, and we'll get the return to home initiated and get it started. So I love how it shows us that home point uh, on the screen right there. That is neat. I wish they'd bring that to the uh, entire uh, DJI Fly app. All right, hit, hit and return to home. Okay, he's coming straight towards us. He's already moving. So let me see if I can control the gimbal. Okay, I got control of the gimbal. It's pretty fast. Let me yaw to the right and to the left. Oh, I can't turn. Look at this. I'm turning my... I'm yawing or trying to, and I can't do it. Let me see if I can go up and down. I can't go up or down. Let me see if I can veer left or right. What in the world? That's different. <laughs> what? When did they start that? Graham, I wasn't expecting that, that result, bud. That's crazy. I'm, I'm steadily messing with these sticks and I'm not able to do anything. He's, he, I can't do anything. I can do the gimbal. Well, that's something. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that result. And he's not really close to his home point either. Let me see if his, home, if his uh, precision landing was affected by that y'all issue. All right, man, are you gonna make it down here? You're right on the pad. That doesn't look too bad. I can move him, his yaw now that he's landing. That was very interesting. All right, Jack. Well, you brought something new to light again. <laughs> Good job, I guess. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. All right, let me get this shut down, and I'm going to get Rose and see if she's affected on the 1.12.8 fly at version. Well, I almost forgot to close Rose's battery box cover. That would have been ugly. I put Rose out on the back of the truck so she can get her side of lights. I'm going to go over to the three dots here and show you guys on the About tab. We're flying with Mini 2 Rose. Her firmware version, her aircraft firmware is 1.07.0200. And her fly app version is 1.12.8 there at the bottom. Updated. The new Martha just said the home point was updated, so we got plenty of satellites now to take off. We're going to do the same thing with her. We're going to get her up in the air here. Take off. We'll have her hover for just a second, make sure that she's doing okay. Go to the left and to the right and back and forth, up and down, all that good stuff. And she's reacting, let me make sure the gimbal's working. And we're in normal mode, just like we're with the other two. All right, so let's go straight up in the area here, about 150 feet, and we'll move forward. We'll go out about 1,200 feet, and we'll do the same thing with her that we did with Jack and White. I'm going to go ahead and stop her there and get her turned around towards us. And we're gonna see what uh, we're gonna see what she actually does here. All right, let's hit return to home. We'll see what she does. I'm gonna first start the gimbal action whenever she starts moving forward. And yeah, the gimbal's still good, just like the other two. Let me see if I can speed her up. Okay, I'm speeding her up to 24 and a half, 25 miles an hour. So that's good. That works. Let me yaw to the right and to the left. I can still yaw. Can I still go up and down? Yep, I can still go up and I can still go down. Let me see if I can change her course to the left and to the right. <laughs> now her course is staying straight on. Well guys, that's the result there. I'm gonna get her landed and we'll have a little chat. All right, Rose, good job again. You always make us proud. <laughs> good deal. Well, what'd you guys think of those results? I was surprised, I'm kind of perplexed. Why is it limited on the Mini 4, but not the Mini 2 on the same fly app? Maybe again, maybe it's got to do with the controller. Maybe it's the RC2 controller that limits it and not this. So again, I'm gonna ask somebody out there to test this with the DJI Mini 4 Pro with, with their RCN2 controller. See if it, if it limits that, because that's interesting. Very interesting results. Well, Graham, I gotta thank you again for the comment. That was a pretty cool test. I think that what we proved here is yet another thing that the DJI Mini 2 does that the Mini 4 can't. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. God bless. Well, guys, we gotta hold that thought. <laughs> I went home and told Christy all about this test and what I did and what the results were. And she said, well, did you think about testing the optimal return to home versus the preset return to home? 
Maybe with the pre maybe with the preset return to home, you still have control of your yaw and things with the Mini 4 Pro. So I'm back. I'm going to do one more test here real quick and see if this changes the results at all. So let me get Dwight out on the back of the truck and we'll get this test going one more time. Guys, I promise it's almost over. <laughs> all right, Dwight, are you going to prove me wrong again? For those of you who aren't familiar with the optimal versus preset settings, I'm going to go over to the three tabs and show you. It's on the safety tab. I think you scroll down. It's the advanced return to home settings. See how it says optimal and preset? Well, my preset height just below that is set at 164 feet. As of the last flight with him, I was on the optimal setting, so he just flew up to the height that he felt comfortable and thought that it was safe, and he returned to home. Now, if you go over to the preset section there, whenever you hit return to home, it's going to automatically move up to the 164 foot mark if it's not already there. If it's at or above that mark, it won't change in altitude, but if it's below 164 feet, that's the altitude that it'll raise up to before it starts to head home. So that's the test that we're going to do now. Let me get back to the regular screen, get him up in the air. All right, so I think we're out far enough. Let me get him turned around towards the home point here. We're going to hit return to home and see what he does. Oh, no, we're not home yet. <laughs> Got to continue to turn, Kevin. All right, so there's that home point. Now let me hit the return to home button. He's going to raise up again, like I said, to that 163 feet. So once he get once he gets up in height, I'm going to and starts to return home. I'm going to start to move the, move the sticks around. All right, so I'm going to yaw. Nope. All right, so I'm moving sticks. I'm going to be trying to yaw to the left and to the right. I can't do it. I'm going to try to move them left and to the right. Can't do it. I'm going to try to move them up and down. Nope. Can't do it up. Can't do it down. Can I speed them up at least? I can speed them up. That's the one thing I can do. And I can change the gimbal. All right, well, <laughs> let's get him landed. Hello. Well, there you go. Another piece of the puzzle. So it doesn't work in optimal or in the preset mode. So that theory is out the window. I guess that our previous findings stand. Congratulations, Jack and Rose, you won the competition. <laughs> Let's get home. Go home.